and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about system administrators. I will go over some roles and responsibilities, the skills you should learn, and I will cover some IT certifications that will help you become a systems administrator. If you are new here, welcome. I am Nima, I am a systems administrator and an IT enthusiast in the LA area. I created Meme Secretary as an online portfolio and a way to demonstrate the tech projects I'm working on and any knowledge and certifications that I'm gaining. So Meme Secretary is a community where we can all share our love and knowledge for STEM. So if you're interested in systems administrator and how you can become one, just keep watching. I am gonna start off by breaking down what a systems administrator is. A sysadmin has many roles and responsibilities. We don't dedicate our time to only one task. If a sysadmin works for a third-party IT company, they're responsible for many clients and maintain every account, device, and IT decision for all of those clients. My previous job was a third-party IT company, and we serviced over 500 clients at the same time. If a sysadmin works for one main company, as I do now, our responsibility is to learn the company's network inside and out. We are responsible for many different aspects within the company. Now, let's dive deeper into what system administrators do and what skills you should learn. Sysadmins set up, monitor, and maintain network equipment like firewalls, routers, switches, and access points. So knowing how to navigate and perform tasks on common network devices like SonicWall, Cisco, Juniper will help you succeed. We also set up, monitor, and maintain servers, including roles and features like Active Directory, Group Policy, DNS, IIS, and other remote server admin tools. If you learn multiple operating systems like Windows and Linux, you will definitely have more sysadmin opportunities. We monitor and maintain virtualization and cloud environments like AWS, Azure, VMware, and Hyper-V. We also manage backup jobs and disaster recovery, security, and two-factor or multi-factor authentication. Some companies have a security team, but having even a basic knowledge of threats allows you to take initial preventive and recovery measures. We manage user accounts and permissions, Office 365 and other email forms, phone systems, and voice over IP. Sometimes we even manage users and desktop support. We also need to stay up to date with IT news, software and driver updates, equipment stats, and new technologies. These are just some responsibilities that a sysadmin has. So as you can see, the more knowledge you have, the better. Now let's go over some IT certifications that will help you become a systems administrator. I decided to split this list into two. There's entry level and advanced IT certifications. This will hopefully cater to folks who are in the IT industry and have some IT knowledge and experience, as well as folks who are new and green and interested in joining the IT field. So starting with entry level certifications, CompTIA certifications are a good place to start. CompTIA is known for their entry-level certification and has many to choose from. An entry-level person aiming to become a systems administrator would benefit by learning and acquiring CompTIA A+, Network+, Cloud+, and Server+. Another great entry-level certification to go after is the Microsoft Technology Associate. The MTA consists of a handful of certifications like Windows OS, Networking, Windows Server Administration, and Security Fundamentals. This certificate looks great on a resume or portfolio because it says Microsoft, one of the biggest and known tech companies out there. Another great starting certification is the Cisco Certified Technician. The CCT will teach you the network fundamentals and core technical concepts that prep you for advanced certifications. This certificate also looks good on a resume or portfolio because like Microsoft, Cisco is another well-known top company. Another certificate that will assist you in landing a systems administrator position is the Microsoft 365 certification. O365 is very popular, so learning how to navigate through the admin portal and perform advanced tasks will up your administration game. The last entry-level certification for today is the Google IT Support Certificate. This certificate will provide you a basic understanding of IT support tasks, computer assembly, networking, and desktop support. All of these entry-level IT certifications will give you a basic concept, prep you for more advanced courses, and will stand out on your resume or portfolio. Now let's jump into more advanced IT certifications. 
The first ones I want to point out are the Microsoft certifications. Although MCSA and MCSC certificates expired in January, Microsoft added and updated a handful of associate and expert level certifications. These certificates cover Azure, DevOps, 365, and administration. The second IT certification is Cisco Certified Network Professional, or CCMP. These Cisco certifications include two exams, one that covers core enterprise technologies and another concentration of your choice. For the sysadmin path, you can concentrate on routing and services, WAN solutions, wireless networking, or automation solutions. The third IT certification is Linux Professional Institute Certification. These exams are updated every three years and are designed to evaluate the knowledge and skills of a Linux sysadmin. The LPIC1 tests the ability to perform maintenance tasks with the command line. The LPIC2 tests the ability to administer small to medium mixed networks. If you decide that you love Linux and want to further your Linux path, there are three LPIC3 certifications, Enterprise Mixed Environments, Enterprise Security, and Enterprise Virtualization. The fourth certificate is AWS. AWS has many certification badges, professional, associate, foundational, and specialties. A sysadmin would benefit from a professional path, which discusses designing, operating, and troubleshooting solutions using AWS Cloud. A sysadmin would also benefit from the associate path, which covers solving problems and implementing solutions using AWS. The fifth and last certification I will mention today is VMware. VMware is one of the top cloud computing and virtualization companies. There are four main VMware certifications to choose from. For a sysadmin, I would recommend the VMware Certified Professional. The VCP is designed for IT professionals who install, configure, manage, and optimize VMware solutions. I would also recommend the VMware Certified Advanced Professional. The VCAP is aimed towards administrators, architects, and engineers. These certifications are for those who design and build VMware solutions or manage and optimize VMware solutions. This is my breakdown of what a systems administrator is and how you can become one. If you have any other skills or certifications that I missed, please drop them in the comments. Thank you all for watching, and I hope that this video can help some of you achieve your goals. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and let's keep spreading knowledge and motivation. Bye for now, guys.